In South Georgia, there is a farm known and awarded for its quality products. Shiloh Farms offers solutions, and the solution Shiloh Farms wants you to know about today is called TIFQUIC. TIFQUIC is a variety of perennial bahia grass that can save you time and money, giving you larger profits. Real pleased with it. Just be surprised how much it'll grow uh, in just a few days. And I'm very pleased with it, and that's anything I plant from now on will be TIF quick. The newly released TIF quick is a fast germinating grass released by the USDA in the University of Georgia. This variety of Bahia grass has quick germination, lower nutrient requirements, good tonnage, and has a longer grazing season than other grasses. It grows well in drought conditions or moist conditions, and if Tithquick is included in a rotation system, it has been shown to reduce nematode and disease problems in subsequent crops. We traveled to southeastern Texas to ask consumers what they thought of Tithquick. We planted the Tithquick July um, 1st. We got a rain on it, I guess a quarter of an inch, about a week and a half later. And about two weeks later, we got another three inches on it. And since then, we hadn't had very much rain on it at all, no measurable rain. And it's up to probably six, six seven inches now. I was just surprised to get that good a stand, dry as it was, because I mean, we pl planted it in just powder. and got a quarter of an inch rain on it, and we thought the seed would probably be ruined. And, we got a, probably a 90% stand on it. With its distinctive V-shaped seed head, Tifquick was given an appropriate name because it germinates 75% faster than Tifton 9 in Pensacola. This is because it was created with less hard seed dormancy than other Bahayas. Your pastures will be covered earlier, grazed sooner, and be grazed longer. When the Tifquick variety came out, we decided to try it. And uh, we, we worked up some old hay fields that we had and planted 30, 30 acres the first year, and that was two years ago. Uh, 2010, we had a pretty dry year. Uh, we had less than uh, probably an inch and a half of rain on the crop when we first planted it. And, uh, but we were able to get it up and real satisfied with the stand. I started cutting hay in, uh, I think, 1st of June. First year's production uh, on, the, on the fields yielded a little over 8,000 pounds of forage. Uh, the first six months of the growth of the, of the uh, Tifquick. So we were real excited about that and thought that uh, we'd go ahead and plant some more uh, pasture this year. So the end of March of 2011, we decided to put in an additional 45 acres. And, and uh, it's been maintaining a little over 100 head of cattle for the last uh, uh, three to four weeks. And uh, so we've been real pleased with that. But I think. Uh, uh, Production on both fields. I believe on the first field that we planted this year, we, even with the drought conditions, we, we harvested a little over 6,000 pounds of, of hay. And I think it'll be unlimited, you know, what we can produce off of these fields typically. And we're using them both in grazing and hay production. And we plan to, uh, in the future, plant some more. We have, uh, we also have Argentine and Tifton 9 and Pensacola, so we get a pretty good. Uh, run and know pretty well what each grass will do and, and so far uh, the tiff quick uh, looks like it's going to outproduce all the others so that's the reason we're using it and probably turn the whole ranch into it sooner or later you know we're in the cow business and we want to have enough for them to eat when you have dry weather like we've had this year uh, it's pretty tough when you look out there and some of the varieties that we've had in the past aren't growing as well as the tiff quick and uh, uh, that that tends to uh, make you a little nervous. <laughs> when you don't have the rainfall, Tifquick has seemed to stand up a lot better. Tifquick is low maintenance because it beats out weeds. It is approximately half the cost to plant and fertilize than Bermuda grass, saving you time and saving you money. There's not any maintenance. As far as maintenance, uh, we've all got too many things to do. We don't need to be sitting around watching a hay field or watching a pasture. We just, we just want something that'll grow and produce the forage so we'll have something to either cut hay off of or run cattle on. On my pastures, I'll, I'll fertilize probably once a year. Cold and drought tolerance combined with its ability to grow in low fertility soil and wet conditions make it another Shiloh Farms solution for cattle farmers. Tifquick seed goes through a long process of harvesting, cleaning, and certification, part of which you see here. And the end product, a certified seed from a reliable and consistent producer. 
It was reliability and consistent quality which earned Shiloh Farms the nearly exclusive rights to grow and harvest Tifquick. The newly released Tifquick was developed by the USDA and the University of Georgia after years of trials. Now the rights to grow the seed belongs to Shiloh Farms Incorporated. When you buy Tifquick from Shiloh Farms or one of its distributors, you are purchasing clean, quality, certified seed. Shiloh Farms offers nothing less. In any of its operations, Tifquick seed production, cotton production, peanut production, or any of their other products. This great care is taken by Larry Redmond and his son Bruce Redmond. Larry started his farm with quality and efficiency as top priorities. Well, I started farming some 34 years ago, um, right here in this location. We, um, we started off small and just grew to, uh, each year. And, kept getting a little bigger and we got into a certified seed uh, in 1981. We started growing rye and then we went from that to in 1986 we started growing uh, bahair grass, uh, certified bahair grass and then from then on we've grown um, into uh, the largest uh, rye producer, certified rye the largest certified rye producer in the um, southeast and um, the largest bahair producer in the southeast and it'd probably be the United States as far as certified. It's, uh, it's a really good crop for uh, building the soil up. We, um, we usually let some of our poor dirt, some of our really sandy dirt, uh, we plant it in bahair grass so it uh, helps build the land up. We'll have it in bahair grass for three or four years and then we'll turn it under and plant peanuts on it two years in a row back to back because it helps cut down on diseases too. But it's an excellent land builder, especially in uh, some of the poorer fields that we have, like I said. Whenever we burn it and turn it under, it gives you a lot of organic matter down there. And uh, that's really, really, really good dirt for peanuts. For more information on TIFQUIC, call us at 912-429-1209.